What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this much anticipated video, I wanted to show you how to pass a click ID through an email. Okay, so in the past I've done videos how to pass a click ID through a landing page and opt-in form. And now suppose you have some emails and people are opening an email on a different device. How do you pass the click ID in order to track those sales? So that's what I wanted to show you today using ClickFunnels and GetResponse. Now, one thing I wanted to point out right away, what I'm doing here involves ClickFunnels and GetResponse. If you're using Aweber and ClickFunnels, if you're using MailChimp and ClickFunnels, if you're using lead pages and GetResponse, the setup might be a little different. But what I'm showing you here is the basic idea. So as long as you follow the requirements of what you have to do, what the goal is in each step, you should be fine. You would just need to look for different documentation for how to reach that specific goal. And you'll see what I mean as I'm talking about it for your funnel builder or your autoresponder. Okay. Um, so let's jump straight in and let's, let's see how to do this. So uh, one thing I did want to also say is that if you haven't seen my video on how to pass a click ID through an opt-in page, I'd recommend you do that because I'll be going over a lot of that stuff and I won't be explaining it. So if you don't understand what a lot of that means, go back and see that video. So over here, I have my email open. We'll be checking the email and seeing if the click ID passes. I have my ClickFunnels uh, landing page open. I have my email autoresponder and I have Click Magic. okay? And then um, those three tabs I'll go through uh, later. So here's our landing page. And as you can see here, I have everything set up as in my previous videos, I, I'm passing through this Click ID here. So again, I'm assuming you know how to do this. So check out my previous videos if you don't. Once again, last reminder, um, and let's get started. So. In order to pass through a click ID through the email, you need to assign a custom field to your email so it stores it like it would your name, your age, your email, stuff like that. So it needs to kind of store the click ID for that specific content in your autoresponder. So the first step is, guess what? Create a custom click ID field. Now you would do that following certain documentation. So for get response, you would use this. And that's what I use to create the custom field. If you're using Aweber, boom, I just pulled up this file for you. If I were using Aweber, I'd make a video going through this list. If you're using MailChimp, this stuff. So just type in how to um, create a, a, a custom field, okay? For whatever autoresponder you're using. So in, in a get response, here I am, I went into contacts. Um, I just clicked on contacts and then go to custom fields. And what we're going to do is we're going to create this custom field for click ID. Um, so as you can see here, it stores age, it stores source, and we want the click ID. So here I've already created one, but let's do another one just to show you what you would do. So maybe I'd name this click ID. Now there's no spaces, so just click ID two. What type of information? I just select text, which is a standard text input field for any purposes. It's kind of like a comment section, so you can just select that. Um, for ClickFunnels, this doesn't really matter because this form doesn't show up in ClickFunnels. As you already know from the previous videos, it just integrates and it it just the data passes through, but the form actually isn't there in ClickFunnels, okay? So that's why I'm not too concerned about this. Don't select this option because then you won't be able to select it in GetResponse. We do need to hide that option if you are actually actively using the form. Uh, but with ClickFunnels, it doesn't really matter, like I said, because people don't see it anyway. So I'll just click Save, and that's pretty much it. That's how you would do it. So um, that's our custom click ID too. Um, I guess I'll delete it later because we don't really need it. So now that we've done that, what we have to do is go into our um, forms uh, for get response and tinker it a little bit to pass this click ID through in that form, right? And then we're going to go to our landing page and add that um, code form there. So what I'm going to do is go on forms and surveys, and I'm going to click on create form. Exactly the same steps as we did in the video on how to pass a click ID through an opt-in form. Exactly the same steps, just a little tweak. So over here, I'm just going to select my campaign, which is going to be test campaign one. I'm going to add the cycle on day, very important, select this, otherwise you won't get added to the cycle. Click on custom thank you page URL, okay? So in this case, um, what I will do is, let me see, I'll probably just select this one here. 
I don't need to track um, this specific email. If I did, I would just enter this and put in S1. It doesn't really matter. For the purpose of this video, I want to show you that the click ID is in fact being tracked, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and take that and paste it here. And again, you should know how to do this because um, you already have in the previous video. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. Um, okay, so it looks like we can't, there's no more space here, so don't worry about it. We're going to edit it in this field here when we paste it in ClickFunnels, okay? So don't worry that there's no space there. Um, enter whatever fields you're gathering here. So um, there's our uh, custom fields, the ClickID2 that we created and the ClickID that I made. I'll use this ClickID because I already have everything set up and I want to make sure I give you kind of the answer, not as we test it. So I'll go with ClickID2. And the email is already there, so that's good. Yep, I see the email right there, and I see the click ID. So here's our form. Let me see if I missed anything. Um, yeah, so if you have other information on ClickFunnels that you want to gather from people, such as their country, you know, their state, their phone number, you would just select that here, okay? Uh, but aside from that, I, I think it looks good. So what I'm going to do is now copy this entire form here, and I'm going to go into ClickFunnels, and I'm going to paste it into my integration settings. So I have it pasted here. So what you would do is you would select null HTML form. You would select integrate existing form, add HTML below, and you would add that here. So notice how you're not adding it specific because I already integrated get response and click funnels. I'm not going to um, kind of select that campaign. I'm going to paste a manual form code, which is what I did here. So here's that code that you pasted. And as you can see here, I edited it at the end and I said S1, right, right there. So what you're doing is you're passing that click ID through. Uh, and then over here at the bottom, I also, um, well, it uh, got removed, but I guess this doesn't really matter because ClickFunnels automatically changes it. So there you go, I've added that. Um, you can say email for email and custom click ID, just don't sync it, that's okay. And over here, so here's what you have to do. You'd have to go back because you can't edit it here, right? You'd have to come here and under email, so leave that as is, but then under click ID, it says input name. So what you would do is you would input the name of that um, exact uh, custom field they entered. And the name of that exact cast custom field is click ID. So you can go ahead and put in click ID here. Now click follows automatically changes it to custom um, under underscore click ID, but don't worry about that. Just write click ID or custom click ID. It doesn't matter if it's gonna be changed automatically anyway. Uh, for type, say text, because remember we selected the text, it doesn't really matter here. For value, you have to add this S1 because originally there's no value here, um, it's blank. So make sure you put um, the two square brackets and you say S1 right there. And that's pretty much it. Um, so you have that selected here and the form is done. Just click on parse and save web form. Um, like I said, just, just make sure everything is right and you should be good to go. So one last thing we have to do is actually input this custom field into our autoresponder. So what I'm going to do is go to email marketing. I'm going to click on autoresponders and I'm just going to make sure that my um, token is there, right? My click ID is there. So I'm going to edit message. I'm going to go to next step. Now over here, I use my tracking link and here I'm saying click ID, right? So there's that get response token. Now get response in their documentation, they're actually telling you to use, um, here if I scroll down, it's going to say cuss uh, space and then the name, okay? So um, you can say, oops, let me just, what I originally said was cuss space click ID. However, get response after I save it, it changes it automatically to just say click ID, which is fine. So just go ahead and say click ID there. It doesn't matter. Uh, disregard this text. It's completely a test, uh, you know, a test message. So what I'm going to do here is go to next step. So I've added my tracking link. Now for this case, it is important to add the tracking link uh, because you have to pass the token through. If you just use this, for example, you won't be able to add the token. You have to add the token to the end of the tracking link. So you would need to use the tracking link here. So I've done that. Let's go to next step. Um, so that's it. So let's save and publish. So now let's test it. So what I'm going to do is enter my email. I'll give it maybe a few seconds. I'll, I'll, I'll pause the video while I get that email. Um, and then I am going to um, resume it and show you how the click ID looks like. So let me just go ahead and 
uh, paste this and the click ID here should be generated. So remember these last four digits or the full thing if you want, 4987, okay, remember that. I'm going to paste in my email here. Oops, wait, what, uh, John at A Marketing Essentials. Dot com. Okay, so I'm going to sign up. So 4987. So let's see. Now, again, this is assuming you have the code there, right? You still need the JavaScript code on the thank you page and the landing page. You need the JavaScript code. So again, check out my previous video if you haven't. I can't stress it enough. I don't want you guys coming back and saying, hey, well, this doesn't work for me. All the steps from the previous video have to be here in order for it to work. So once again, just a reminder, uh, disregard that there's no video. Again, it doesn't matter. So we know the click ID is passed here, 4987, okay, successfully. Now the question is, will it get passed in the email? And the email is here already. So let's see and make sure that the 4987 is there. So here it is. And there it is, 4987 added as a sub ID to the end of our link. Now. We have to click on it and actually see if the click ID is there because sometimes it won't if you don't have the JavaScript code there. So don't go excited and say, oh, that's great, I'm done. Click on it and make sure the click ID is here and it is right there, okay, 4987. So if people open that email through their phone, through a different computer, through a different browser and the cookie is not there, you can still track the sales, okay? So good news, you can still track the sales um, for your Click Magic tracking link due to this uh, post back URL that we've just did. So I hope this was helpful for you. As you can see, we've successfully passed through that click ID. If you guys have any other questions at all, let me know uh, in the comments down below. Questions, comments, concerns, I'll be happy to help you out. Um, other than that, thank you for watching. If you found this video valuable and helpful, leave it a thumbs up and subscribe. It, um, it, it really helps me a lot. It, it uh, helps me make new videos. You know, it keeps me motivated, inspired to do this stuff. Um, and, and I really hope that I'm able to offer you guys some value and help you. So thanks again so much. I will see you in the next video.